Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. I'm sure you will agree that was an extraordinary piece of music. A wonderful example of non diatonic counterpoint. Stay tuned for more groundbreaking compositions. And now, Sir Nigel reviews. This time, looking at the new bakery in Crockenbush, Do Re Mi. It has a breathtaking selection of musically inspired pastries, such as this strumming strudel and the cacophonous cake. I award it four macarons.
awaits you at the newly constructed opulent Bay Towers in Pelican Wharf. Our exclusive apartments have all the everyday essential conveniences. Mega Mag Cinema, bowling alley, and eight bathrooms, two of which are fitted with golden toilets. Well, I say. And if it's real luxury you're after, come see our penthouses. Pelican Wharf, pricing normal people out of the market. This is Two Point Radio. Our esteemed government minister for health, Tarquin Foxbridge, has been doing the rounds at a few hospitals today. One can only hope his red tape can hold together these so-called public services. Maintenance 
Toilets announcement. Toilets need routine servicing. I visited a sick friend who has taken the foolish decision to check himself into one of Holistic's nature communes. Call me old-fashioned, but patients are supposed to be treated by doctors in hospitals, not have leaves rubbed on them by druids. Thank you. 
Today, I would like to introduce a new segment which I call Two Points of View. In it, I will give you two rather different points of view on a contentious subject. So, for example, view A could be, this is a rather fine idea for a segment, whereas view B would then be, this segment is an embarrassing waste of time. Stay tuned for more of these controversial debates next week. Thank you. 
and Wolf on Two Point Radio. You're about to enter the Wolf Zone, where we speak truth to power and sometimes kick it in the shins. I'm Harrison Wolf, and this is Two Point Radio.
After some deep research and investigative work, I found out that Holistics was born from a small company called Whole Lot of Sticks. Yeah, that's right. It sold sticks. Not wildly successful, as you can imagine. Then one day, some sticks fell in a cup of hot water, and they sold it as a miracle tea. The rest, as the fella says, is history.
Sophie Nova, CEO of Bungle Tech, trapped by a local hospital this morning. The press release said she was offering to share her company's experimental treatments. You ask me, she just wanted to see what the competition is up to. Doctor wanted in hands You've always wanted a place to call your own. Good morning. Somewhere that somehow mixes the cool of the city with the calm of the countryside. Welcome to Camouflage Falls. Coming soon to Two Point County. Camouflage Falls. Definitely what we say it is. This is Two Point Radio. Training course complete. Oh, oh. 
for next Friday's sold-out Dark Weasel Goat concert. All you have to do to win them is recite the first line of the satanic ritual the band does at the start of every gig. This one's for real fans, but feel free to have a guess.
People called in trying to guess the first line of Dark Weasel Goat's ritual, but only one of you got it right. Congratulations to Emma Tremolo, who gets the tickets. For the record, the first line of the ritual is, We worship at the altar of good, clean fun. Be nice to each other. Let's have a groovy time. Oof, chilling words. search for a new hobby led me down a dark path this week as I discovered the joy of vintage lunchboxes. The plastic ones with cartoons and music bands on them are pretty easy to find, but iron cast medieval lunchboxes are rare, man. Like really rare. Those crusading knights knew how to hide their lunch.
Buy 115 cans of tuna and get one free. And if you sign up for our store card, you'll get our exclusive one-time use Crumley can opener. So come on down to Crumley Mega Market in Duckworth upon Bill. Serving Two Point County. This is Two Point Radio.
what you might call an epiphany this morning, a revelation, a parting of the clouds, a lightning bolt moment, a profound realization, an instant of self-discovery, a flash of inspiration. It was this, I really liked thesauruses.